today I'm gonna tell you everything I've learned over the past few years collecting sneakers. I'm gonna share with you some very useful tips if you're planning on building your own sneaker collection. But to do this, I first have to fix mine. My sneaker collection is a bit all over the place. Like literally it is all over the house. Like look at this, we got all of these sneakers here, which is just my little stand in my clothing room. And then we've got more up there, like what the hell is this? Look, we got another pair down there. Let's move into, okay, here. The, here's a little closet. Oh look, more sneakers. What the? There's more. All of these. What the? What? Out in here. Oh no, it's just the bathroom. What? Wait a minute. And to top it all off, I'm gonna show you where I keep the bulk of my sneaker collection. <laughs> like I said, guys, this is where I keep most of my sneaker collection, or at least I have been since I moved into this house. So actually collecting sneakers or being able to have a sneaker collection is only something I've recently been able to do. Like throughout my entire life, I've always moved around a lot. As many of you know, I grew up in South Africa and I moved around a lot when I lived there, when I moved to the UK. Obviously, you can't travel with an entire sneaker collection. I then moved to Australia and then moved back to the UK. So essentially, I've been traveling around and finally for the past two to three years, I'm settled and I'm ready to to build my collection. So of course, as I've been building this sneaker collection, I've learned quite a few things. And uh, as we go through today's video, I'm gonna hit you with some useful tips that I found really helpful. Hopefully you do too. The first tip is gonna be something that I think is probably the initial thought that you need to have in your head when you go to build a sneaker collection. Or even if you're just someone casually buying sneakers, you got a bunch of boxes piling up. Well, it's storage. Where are you going to put all of these sneakers? I mean, there's a new sneaker release every single weekend. So it's really important before it gets out of hand is actually having an idea or a place where you can store these shoes. And a great example of this is doing exactly the opposite of what I did. And that is storing sneakers in the attic. I do have to say that this house is actually brand new. So this attic is very well insulated. In the time that we moved into this house, it was kind of just finishing up with summer and it hadn't become winter yet. Like it's still not fully winter here in the UK. So I made sure that I'm not gonna keep them up here for the extreme weather periods like in winter when it's freezing cold and obviously in summer when it gets super hot. But that's kind of like what I'm aiming to do now. I'm gonna try and bring as many as I can downstairs um, and just try and build a sneaker room. I'm actually gonna include the garage and the attic. So these two places specifically are places that tend to get hot and cold during the winter and the summer. And essentially extreme temperatures for sneakers that are just sat in their boxes can be really, really bad. It can dry out and crack the shoes or it can just turn them moldy, which is something you really don't want your super expensive sneakers to start having those kind of issues. I will say that I only put my sneakers up there in the attic temporarily. Moving to this place, I had to set up my studio as quickly as possible. So having a bunch of sneaker boxes lying around was really not ideal because I have to keep pumping out videos. So I chucked them all up in the attic and I knew I was gonna come up with a plan for the future on where exactly I'm going to store them, which leads me to my next tip, which is having a space for your sneakers. So my plan for my sneakers now is to actually have an entire room kind of dedicated or at least a wall dedicated to sneakers. And then I'm gonna go to Ikea and get these lac shelves. I'm gonna truth. Ah! I can't see shit. Now I think the Ikea lac shelf is literally like the most popular sneaker shelf for at least sneaker heads. I have seen so many people have these shelves and it's a super cost effective and cheap way to have a really good looking shelving for your sneakers that kind of presents them super nice. It's easy to just grab them off of there and it kind of just perfectly fits shoes. All right, we successfully moved the clothing from this side of the room over to uh, this side and honestly, I think it looks pretty good. So now we're gonna get to work on building all of these. We got five of them to build, so let's do it. Either way, if you do end up buying any kind of shelving from Ikea or specifically the lac shelves, you do have the opportunity to return it and get your money back if you wanted to change things up or just change your mind. Well, there you go. 
we have uh, five that I just built that took me probably about an hour to put all of these up, maybe even less, probably like 45 minutes. So including this one, we've got six in total, which should uh, line this wall quite nicely. We're gonna evenly spread them out and hopefully it looks good. But I guess now we need to fill them all and get it presentable. Currently, it is just bare bones. I literally just threw up all of these different shelves. I really like the way that it looks. However, to really make it look good, I feel like I might get some maybe posters or some lighting, maybe even a rug at the front. I think that could be also a really good look. I think you can really make it your own and no matter the size of your collection, you can just really make it look good. Even if you just have five pairs or 10 pairs. Today's video is sponsored by Ritual. Ritual helps people fill in the gaps in their diets with no shady additives, fillers, or colorants. As much as I try to eat a healthy diet, it is far from perfect. So I take Ritual's Essential for Men multivitamin, and with these two easy to take capsules, I get 10 nutrients like vitamin A, D, omega-3, and zinc to bridge the gap of my not so perfect diet. Ritual also has these delayed release capsules which are designed to be gentle on an empty stomach, and something I think is pretty under rated is the mint tab added to every bottle. So each time you open up the bottle, it actually smells good. Ritual has vitamins to support everyone. They've got a multivitamin for women, a 50 plus multivitamin, prenatal, postnatal, and a teen vitamin. Ritual is a brand that I can trust because of their transparency for what ingredients they use and why. It's all vegan friendly, non-GMO, gluten free, allergen free, and contains no added sugar. Ritual searched the globe for the best suppliers around the world and is transparent about where they source their ingredients from. Their website details everything from what ingredients are included and where they got them from. They've also just launched a new essential protein range designed to help support lean muscle mass. It's only $8 a day to have 10 high quality nutrients your body needs delivered straight to your door. And Ritual is offering you 20% off your first month by going to ritual.com forward slash Elliot P20 and using my discount code Elliot P20 at checkout. Thank you so much Ritual for sponsoring today's video, but let's get back back to it. Now obviously if you're going to be making a little space for them and making them look super good, well taking care of them is a huge factor of keeping them looking good. That is tip number three, is understanding the value of your collection. But for a sneakerhead who is just looking to build a sneaker collection of sneakers that they're going to wear or just own, having the ability to flip some sneakers is definitely going to help you out building that collection. For a hypothetical example, let's say the Jordan 4 Military Blacks are just about to drop, however you own the White Cement 4. So you decide to go and purchase those military black, but since you're not going to wear them, you decide to flip them. Let's say you flip them immediately and you make 50 to 60 bucks on that pair of sneakers. Well, that can go to another pair of sneakers that you really, really want. Or you can keep the military blacks in your collection for a couple years and let's say they go up and you decide to sell them in a couple years and you manage to make 100 to 150 bucks profit. Well, now you've just made a little bit of money. Be able to go and buy that sneaker that you really wanted to wear. But this only works if you take Take care of your sneakers and that is tip number four which is taking care of your sneakers. And obviously this is where everything kind of ties in in terms of where you store your sneakers making sure it's a place that they're not going to get damaged. Another huge thing is keeping all of the original parts like any hang tag or any cardboard paper inserts that go inside any extra laces and of course the original box because even if you wear your sneakers they still have value and if you decide to sell them in the future or you have to sell them in the future having the original box and all of the original pieces that come with it is very important and it's going to increase the value. And this is where I think investing in a sneaker cleaning kit is very important. Some sneaker cleaning detergent, a brush so you can kind of scrub away any dirt, and some kind of cloth that wipes it all down at the end. Personally, how I keep my sneakers clean is I end up washing them pretty regularly. Like after every five or ten wears, I give them a little bit of a scrub down so that they don't yellow super rapidly and stuff like that. And generally speaking, that's where for me, get rid of any crazy scuffs that managed to happen as I was wearing them. And for the final tip, make it personal. As you can tell, I don't know how much of my sneaker collection you can see, but I eventually want to build a sneaker collection that has like a lot of sneakers that mean a lot to me that are kind of special. And I want to also have some grails in there, obviously, because I've only been able to kind of collect sneakers for the past two years, I would say. I don't have any grails in there. I don't have any sneakers that are super old, something that I was never able to afford in the past 
past. And you'll also notice with my personal collection, I don't own any crazy expensive sneakers either. Like I don't have any Travis Scott Jordan ones because honestly, I don't even think I would wear a thousand pound pair of shoes. Like if I could get them for retail, sure, I would do that. Or if I can get a steal on them, sure. But a thousand? I don't think I could actually walk around in them. But generally speaking, hype shouldn't necessarily dictate what you have in your sneaker collection. You know, you should really make it personal and make it like sneakers that you truly like. But at the end of the day, listen, it's your collection. You do what you want. If you want to buy a bunch of hyped up sneakers, that's completely fine. But listen guys, here is my new collection room. And I know a lot of you guys have asked for a sneaker collection video. Well, now that I've brought it all down from the attic, or at least most of it, there is still some sneakers up there, which I have to kind of figure out what I'm gonna do with but generally speaking if you guys wanted me to go through each sneaker from my collection and kind of show you guys then uh, let me know down in the comment section because I could definitely do that hopefully today's video has been helpful I want to thank you so much for coming through hanging out for yet again another one thank you for liking commenting and of course subscribing I'll catch you guys in the next one but until then <laughs>